So I was wandering the aisles of my local craft store the other day and came across a tool I hadn't seen before. Oh boy, this is the crimp cover closer. And today I'll show you how it works and let you decide whether or not to add it to your tool arsenal. Hi there, Sandy here. Welcome to another Friday Findings video at KeepsakeCrafts.net. So as you can imagine, when I go to the craft store and look in the jewelry section, most of the stuff there is stuff I already have. So I was excited when I saw these crimp cover closers and just had to try them out because closing crimp covers can be a problem. I remember a project I did a long time ago using crimp covers that drove me insane. If you, I didn't bring my other pliers down here, but if you try to pick them up with the smooth jaws of pliers, Actually, these are behaving pretty well, but usually they pop and zing out. I remember going just crazy trying to get that project done with lots and lots of crimp covers. And I finally figured out a workaround using the actual crimping tool because it has these little round spaces. And that's what I've been using for ages. And I've shown you that over and over again. I even showed you that in my Friday findings video on crimp covers is to use your crimping pliers. So here's a piece of wire with a crimp. The wire's been trimmed, squeeze. And that one looks pretty good. Often what happens, because these pliers are narrower than the the bead or the crimp cover, it'll leave a little bit of a dent. These little parts on the very ends will dent it. I haven't let that bother me. But when I saw these, I thought maybe that would solve that problem. So again, here's just a bit of wire. I've crimped that and you want to trim off the excess wire and always, just always Grab a hold of that and give it a tug. I, I, always, I say this over and over again. It's so important. I just completed a fairly complex necklace, tugged on it, had the thing come undone. And yes, it was aggravating to have to redo my stringing, but I was much happier having to redo it then than having to uh, find my beads spilled all over the floor or not find them if it happened in a public place. So anyways, back to these. One thing I like about these is that they really are designed for picking up a crimp cover because you can see they've got the little bit of a bend here, which is exactly what we do. You set your crimp cover down. I usually point it at about 10 o'clock because I'm right-handed. It might be 2 o'clock if you're left-handed. And that just bracket that. And I usually use my fingers and try to make it straight because the trickiest part I've found of using this tool is getting the cover to close neatly and straight. And then you just pop your cover in there and squeeze. And that's pretty good. And that's really all there is to it. I had some that came out crooked. And one of the problems I have is if you're at the end of your wire and say you have a whole bunch of beads here and you have something else here, like part of a clasp, these can be a little thick and a little wide to fit in there. They are just, let's see, a little bit wider than the bead or the crimp cover, which looks like a bead when you're done with it. So they're a little bit wider and that can ca cause a problem if you have big beads on either side of where you want to crimp. In which case, again, going back to your crimping tool, uh, just gently closing, I should do it. So with that exception, I think this is a pretty cool tool. I like the fact that it, I'm not going to have dented crimp covers. Sometimes like that is a little bit off and you can come in from different angles. It's easiest if you can get it on there as straight as possible to begin with. Now, of course, that's the easiest way, but you can kind of come back in and reshape that a little if you need to. 
So make sure that it stays straight in here, which, like I said, can be tricky if it's a different size than your cover. And take your time getting it centered over the crimp and you should be fine. So is it worth adding to your toolkit if you use a lot of crimp covers and you don't like denting them? Then yes, I think so. I think it simplifies things, makes the whole process a little bit more streamlined. They even throw in a few, I think you get what, five crimp covers in there, which is nice. So I hope you found this video helpful. If you're interested in, the, in any of these supplies, then you should click on the link in the upper right of the video that will bring you to my blog post where I always have a complete supply list and links to products. If you enjoy my videos, I hope you'll subscribe if you haven't already and take a look at my Patreon page for how you can get bonus tutorials every month. Happy creating. Bye-bye.